Yeah, hi Shravani. Introduce yourself. Sure, sir. I am Shravani Amiretti and I am from Mongo. I have completed my B.Tech in, mm -hmm. in the stream of Computer Science and Engineering from the Quiz College of Engineering and Technology. Mm -hmm. I am a highly responsible person with positive attitude and mm -hmm. moreover, I learn new things quickly. Recently, I have completed Azure Cloud course. In mm -hmm. Azure, I have good knowledge on creating VMs, mm -hmm. virtual missions, uh, VNets, load balancers, storage accounts, logic apps, mm -hmm. recovery service vault, and I also has good knowledge on Terraform scripting. Okay, That's good. Fine. So let me talk from basics. Okay, so sir. I have two virtual machines in two in same region, okay, but sir. these two machines are in different VNets. Okay. So I want to make I want to make a communication between these two VMs. To do communication between two different virtual machines, we have to do VNet peering. Okay. Uh, VNet peering uh, enables uh, two virtual machines communicate with each other. Okay. Now coming to load balancers. So, what is the difference between application gateway and front door? Yes, sir. If we have different workloads in different servers, mm. then we have to route the traffic through URL or mm. uh, path based in, in regional, then we use application gateway. Mm. If we have different workloads and, uh, in different servers, then, mm. then also we have to do route the traffic using mm. URL or path based routing in mm. different regions, mm. then we use uh, front door. And what is the main difference between these two? Yes, it is globally supports, but so any other features in front front door than application gateway? Application gateway is mainly used for web application web applications, mm -hmm. and it doesn't support uh, content delivery network. Okay. But front door supports front uh, content delivery network. Okay, good. So coming to network security group. So when I create a network security group, right? How many rules you will get? Default By default, rules. there are six rules. Three mm. inbound rules and three in outbound rules. Can I able to delete those rules? No, but we can overwrite the rules. So storage account. How many data storages you have? We have four data storages: mm. containers, blog, mm. uh, containers, file shares, queues, and tables. Mm. Okay. In containers again. In containers again, we have three blocks: block mm. block, page mm. block, append block. Okay. What is used for page block back block block? Blockbob is used to store the data. It divides the data into blocks and store mm. the data. Mm. Uh, and it is used to store unstructured data mm. like images, videos, mm. files, etc. Mm. Facebook is recommended to store virtual mm. virtual mission files. Okay. Append blob is used to store uh, log files. Okay, good. So in the container, when you create a container, you have three types of access levels. Yeah. What are those? Blob access, container mm. access, and private access. Yeah, what is the difference between blob access and container access? Uh, in blob access, uh, we, we cannot view the files. Mm. But in container container access, we can view the files which are located. Mm. And container is like a folder. Blob is mm. like an individual file. Okay. Um, now, what is service endpoint and private endpoint? Yeah, service endpoint means uh, we enable it subnet level. Service endpoint we enable it subnet level, mm -hmm. and it adds the IP address to the past service models. It will not delete public IP address. Mm -hmm. Coming to private endpoint, mm -hmm. it associate private IP address to the past services. Mm -hmm. It is used for security purpose, mm -hmm. okay. and it will not it will delete public IP address. Okay, so fine, good. Now coming to Terraform. So what is data block? Data block is used to use the already existing resources in, in the Terraform. Okay, what is the import? Import command is used to import the resources which are created manually. So you mean manually only? Manually and already existing ones. Okay. So now what is use of uh, Terraform backend block? Uh, Terraform backend block is used to store the state files. Okay. It, it stores all the state files in the one backend. So, what is exactly it, uh, Terraform um, FMT? Terraform FMT command is used to rewrite the uh, configuration files in a canonical format. Okay. 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 So, I'll come to DNS. Okay. okay. So, what is the purpose of DNS? DNS is used to map, uh, give the name to the IP address. Okay. If, if for user convenience okay. to easily mm. connect with the IP. Okay. Now, I have Azure load balancer with the public IP. Now, I have a domain name. So, to convert this right in the DNS, which record I need to mention? 
to convert DNS name. Yeah, DNS name to IP. Name to IP. IP, IP to name. Both. Uh, host A record is used for okay. to map IP to name or name, name to name. Name to name. Name to name. For name to name, we use uh, CNAME record. CNAME. 